Colorado ditches capacity limits for outdoor venues like Red Rocks and Dillon Amphitheater. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, the local housing crisis was seeping into every part of yesterday's county commissioner meeting. Elizabeth Lawrence. I think that we probably need to do a better job of expressing the true housing emergency that we are in right now related to our workforce. It is so different than even six months ago, and that's not at all to diminish senior housing. She was responding to a plan for combination workforce and senior housing at County Commons in Frisco. Pam Piper with the Staying in Summit group. People are leaving Summit every day, practically every day, because of the lack of services and housing, because of the lack of adequate services and housing. But county and town officials are more focused on immediate workforce needs, like recapturing short-term rentals for locals. Unincorporated Summit alone has 4,300 rental permits today. That is 600 more than three years ago. I am deeply concerned about the housing conversation at the moment. The article this morning sort of came across to me like the towns were not on the same page as us. That was Commissioner Tamara Pogue referring to a report in the Summit Daily from yesterday. Tune in today at 4 and 5 for the State of Summit, reviewing this and more. Officials on the Arkansas River asked, and you listened. Glenn Catone with Colorado Parks and Wildlife. We saw a decrease on uh, both Saturday and Sunday from what it's been in the past. But busy season on Browns Canyon on the Arkansas is not done yet. Officials asked boaters to use other stretches this weekend and next or run the risk of imposing private boating permits all summer long and into the future. Memorial Day weekend just set a record on the I-70 Mountain Corridor with 167,000 vehicles in four days, continuing a trend of worsening holiday congestion. In the 2000s, Memorial Day traffic grew 7.5%. In the 2010s, it grew 19%, with small dips in 2011 and 2015 when it snowed heavy on the holiday. But Memorial Day is still one of the lightest four-day travel holidays, consistently behind MLK weekend, Labor Day, and Thanksgiving. A longtime concert executive is joining the team at Altera Mountain Company. Jared Smith is the new president for Altera, owner of the Icon Pass and resorts like Steamboat Springs. He comes from Live Nation, owner of Ticketmaster, where he led digital innovations. The latest now on coronavirus and full capacity at concerts. Colorado's newest health order drops all capacity limits for outdoor events and venues, including Coors Field, Red Rocks, and Dillon Amphitheater. Indoor events are now capped at 2,000 people or more with state approval. Avalanche and Nuggets games at Ball Arena are up to 10,500 fans, about 50% capacity. The state also has a new definition for a COVID outbreak, now five or more related cases, up from two or more. 80% of Summit County's partially vaccinated today, 68% fully vaccinated. In sports, the Rockies beat the Rangers in 11 last night, 3-2. The Nuggets beat the Trailblazers in two overtimes, 147-140. Today, the Rockies play the Rangers again at 640. The Avalanche face the Golden Knights at 8, leading that series 1-0. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, Summit High Girls Soccer lost to Glenwood Springs yesterday, 4-1. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.